All right, let's go over this example. 18 plus negative 2 plus, in square brackets, 9 plus negative 13, OK? So we can follow PEMDAS. Uh, so parentheses, exponents, multiplier, divide from left to right, add or subtract from left to right. Um, what we need to remember right off the bat is that this square bracket is just another type of parentheses. I mean, they could have written this whole problem out with those type of parentheses as well, and that's fine. You, you don't need that square bracket is just to make it look nicer on the eyes. That's the only reason it's there. It doesn't mean anything. It's just another type of grouping symbol, another type of parentheses. It's called a square bracket, but it operates just like a parentheses. So, so this problem could have been written like this as well. Okay, so that's the first thing. So to follow PEMDAS, we should do the innermost parentheses first. So we should combine the 9 and the negative 13 first. And the weird thing is you don't actually have to because there's a plus sign on the outside. So like, um, you know, so that would be like a distributive property of 1 applied to these guys. And so um, you could write it all out, just, a lip, just, just delete those, red, those square brackets all together. This problem would be the same. But let's follow PEMDAS anyway, and we'll just do inside the square brackets first, and like good little children. So what's 9 plus negative 13? Positive 9 plus negative 13. That's 9 good guys and 13 bad guys, right? Or $9 cash combined with a $13 debt. Looks like, a, looks like more bad guys to me, right? More of a debt. So what are you going to end up with? So you can go 13 subtract 9 gives 4. And is it going to be positive or negative? Well, the dead is bigger, so it's going to be a negative 4, right? Make sense? Um, so we have then 18 plus. And remember, this parenthesis is just to separate the plus sign from the negative 2. It doesn't mean multiply. It's just there to separate the plus and the negative. Okay, So you could write this for fun as plus negative 2. But don't forget this sign. This is very important, plus. If you didn't have that plus there, by the way, you'd be multiplying. Okay, you, you'd go negative 2 times negative 4, which would be positive 8, which is a totally different thing. So this plus sign is a big deal here. All right. Anyway, so the next thing we can do is we can add from left to right, step at a time, right? So go ahead and do that. 18 plus negative 2, just combine these guys first, perhaps. So that would be 16, right, plus a negative 4. You don't even have to put in that square bracket. It's just plus a negative 4. It's just positive 16 plus negative 4, right, which is 12, right? And you didn't even have to go from left to right. Because we were just, like, adding a bunch of numbers together, basically, you kind of combined it as negative 4 plus, you know, 18, then plus negative 2, or negative 4 plus negative 2, then plus 18. It didn't matter, because it'll all end up being 12 in the end, right? Because, like, combine these guys, negative 6, negative 6 with 18, 12. Because, look, we're just adding a bunch of numbers together. That's all that's happening there, right? 